Okie dokie, we are live. Yep. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, we back. We back in this bitch. What <laughs> up? Um, Welcome back. A big old lobby tonight. Full. How do you do this again? Don't know. We're going to work it out. <laughs> uh, just double check. We're live everywhere. Yeah, we are. 18. 18 people. Will we see a full grid? Boys, middle's back. What's up, Dave? There doesn't seem to be any music, and that is because I turned mine all the way down. So, let's bring that back. Never mind. I don't know what's going on with that. It's uh, messed up. Still got to iron out some issues for sure. Yeah. So we got hacking and series. First race back. New game. This is the first stream on the new game of any series. Yep. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Damn. That's hypey. That is hypey. Get hyped. Um, should we have a look at some of these drivers on the grid? Sure. Uh, I'm not sure exactly uh, which ones are coming in and which ones are permanent drivers. I've had in CSABs and SEC billions. Mm, yeah. Battle of the Ages. The Return. That's going to be yeah, pretty high back, for me. isn't it? Yeah. Can't wait to see that. Um, yeah, we got some familiar faces, some new people that I'm sure we'll get to ride on board with. Well, actually, Dude, no. We're not riding on board to... with Yeah. We might try and avoid that, actually. To save everyone's ears, a bit of annoyance. All right, we're loading in. Let's go see Sevs. Yeah, who's that? I mean, I'm not really sure I can guess. Have a stab. <laughs> Have a stab. Roger. All right, just waiting on a few to load in. Yeah, we got a couple. Come on, Cato. Come on, DJ Cato. Millsy. Cato and Millsy. Difficult. Let's hurry it up. <laughs> Yeah, they want to be going to move on. They've been put on the clock. Yeah. The suspense. They get kicked if they don't, don't They work. do, yeah, they do get kicked, for sure. I mean, they can just rejoin, but... Of course. They're out of here. I want to do it within 18 minutes to try and get a lap on the board. All right, here we are. Brand new game, new game, new me. Same old drivers. Same old drivers. I'm gonna pre-select Aladdin. See if oh, they can keep their record. Of not out in first. the uh, not in the Williams anymore. Oh, there's movement at Ferrari. So, there is movement He's coming at Ferrari. Out. He's out. Will he get beaten by someone further down the pit lane? No. He's gone. No, is the answer. Alright, we're going to turn on some details. I'm going to get rid of this horrible sound. And uh, yeah, we're going to watch him go around. We're going to see a few people coming out. Snickers. Jake. Uh, Jake Jake Kerbo, <laughs> Jack Kerbo. I was Jake Ribo. Jake Ribo. Wow, the possibilities on that one. <laughs> um, yeah. Love some confirmation. Yeah, if from you know, uh, 
Chuck a Rebo. Type it in the <laughs> chat. What are we going for there? What are we going for? G Genetic spelling. Jack Aribo. Jack Aribo. Yeah, I like that. Sure. Karibo makes me think of Yu-Gi-Oh. So. <laughs> and that's what you want to be doing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Alright, so we got some stuff to talk about. First of all is tire You'd imagine temps. we would. Oh, yeah. So, tire temps. What tire temps? Well... Particularly low tire temps is what we got to talk about. Oh, um, but also high tire temps. Uh huh. It's just you really need to find that balance, don't you? Yeah. So, outlaps are going to be much more feisty. A lot more happening in them. I mean, let's break through. it right down. Yeah. If yeah. you don't know, if you've been avoiding the game to save yourself any pain, <laughs> uh, outlaps your tires are stone cold. They are stone cold. I mean, softs are a little bit better in quality in the race. We're going to probably see some people get some stone cold hards on. Oh, as, as we see Aladdin in the first two corners there having a bit of a moment. We'll need to go around again. So we'll check in with Jake Aribo, uh, who's managed to get a little bit further on down to turn three. Driving in that Williams. Yeah, it is a hard point of the track there, Aladdin. You're trying to get on the gas, but you've got to get around that little kink that is turned through there. Yeah. Yeah, so as you say, tyres are going to be stone cold coming out of the pits. Formation laps are key. Uh, at the start to be getting temps, especially in the rear. Yeah, hard to get temps in the rear. Need to do a... Uh, couple little burnouts, but can be risky behaviour. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely see some disqualifications on that formation <laughs> yeah. lap. That's pretty standard. Um, tire strategies have changed quite a bit. Soft to medium is not the go anymore. Uh, it's pretty yeah, much soft, uh, medium to hard every race uh, with some variation. I think you can also soft hard as well if you want to be spicy or hard to soft. Mm -hmm. The hards will go for a long time. That is uh, what we know so far. I don't know too much about the strategy, but yeah, I guess it's good to not just see it be you can just one stop soft medium every track. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, if the strategy is now just going to be your one stop medium hard every track, I mean, well. Well, we What's should also mention that gone are the days of trying to qualify on medium tyres for an alternate strategy. You just have the softs, it. and um, then you can... Um, Everyone gets a choice of tyre yeah, when they start choice. on the grid. Yeah, so there you go. It's a bit, a bit of spicy action from the new game for us all. Uh, we see... Noxie coming across the line with a 130 to go up into first place. Valhalla in second with a 131. Jake Aribo has been knocked down to third with Yoshi and Aladdin rounding out four and five. Aladdin, of course, going around again. Uh, we also see Cheezer now coming down onto that back straight. He's about to be setting a lap of their own. Uh, still a very, that very same driver lineup. I think these two have been driving on the same team for a few seasons now, right? Yeah. I think so. Cheese with a 135. Uh, Champagne in, was in fourth, but has just been knocked down by Casey <laughs> Vergara. Wow, that's going to be, it's going to be Casey for sure. Um, yeah, so, we got some interesting stuff happening. Noxie on a very good run there. CSAV's currently on uh, an outlap, coming around SEC, as we see the return of the SEC and CSAV's battle. SEC has gone straight to the top with a 129.9. Let's see if CSAV's can beat that. 
just uh, standard practice for sec there. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> Hasn't missed a beat. Still got it. Alright, so a lot of cars out on track. So we're going to ride on board with the Alpine because it's probably the car that is most easy to stand. So a purple sector one there, possibly, if I see Zeus. And Ooh. just clips the inside of that curb, which is just enough to unsettle the car. And it's gone Doesn't all the much. way around. Good recovery, though. DJ Millsy up in the Red Bull, crossing the line with a 129.8, going a tenth quicker than sec. That's right, so you close drivers up the front there. That Aussie dude has managed to slide into third there. A 130.1 as well. Cato. Oh, hey, Cato. 29.3. That is half a second quicker. So that is a substantial improvement there. A good time to get on the board nice and early. Mm. Could be seen. The higher. The... Uh... Yeah, go on. The higher you put yourself up, I mean, the the safer <laughs> you feel. Really sending it on your on your next lap, right? True. Yeah. Uh, could be seeing a little bit of track improvement going on. Uh, of course, of course. Bahrain is big for it. Uh, we're gonna ride on board for the rest of. Vlad R's lap in the Alpha Tauri, uh, a name that we haven't seen before, so welcome. Purple middle sector, possibly, so we'll see how this lap finishes off. New game, same old, same old bugs. Mm. With a, a couple of new ones as well. Yeah. <laughs> It is and a beautiful time, though. Vlad with a huge... No hugs. 28-7 up into provisional pole. Uh, plenty of time, though, for more people to do laps. Uh, we see... Who else have we got? Um, I think Aladdin might be going around again. Yeah, just in that first two corners that we saw them struggle at earlier. Coming down that. It doesn't manage first to trip. get a proper time on the board. So, is it still on the same tyres? No, it's put some new tyres on. Yeah, so I think but... this is a push lap here. Yeah, down uh, or up nine seconds on their previous time. Oh, with a uh, sector, sector one. So, does that mean that the purple sectors have been fixed? Maybe. It remains and to be we seen. just. We're just on board at the right time to catch all these purple sectors. Yeah, could be. So far they seem pretty believable. So we have a few people coming back out. Sec, DJ Millsy, Yoshi, CSAVs again. Jake Caribo has gone off. Uh, looks like just at the midpoint of Sector 2. We haven't seen... So Aladdin does go third, so no more purple sectors, just the first one. Seems like they are fixed then. It's could crazy. still be, yeah, that could be uh, legit. I will uh, be right back in one moment. Mm -hmm. So we also have a pentagonal out on lap. Let's ride on board in the Alpha Romeo. Coming around that tricky bend. A purple middle sector. Could be a, another provisional pole on our hands. Uh, coming down that last 
the straight before this final corner, which is very important to get a good exit on. Keeps it quite tight. Gets on the power early. Let's see where we finish off. So an 11th place there uh, with a 131.1. And as we can see, a teammate there coming out of the pits uh, of Auntie pulling over just to make sure. Good stuff. What did I miss? Uh, we saw Pentagonial in the Alfa Romeo go into 11th of Auntie coming out of the pits. Uh, but not much. Not much. We do see Sec cross the line to make it a Alpha Towery 1 2 right now. That is spicy. See, Sam oh, oh, crosses the line with a 128.5 uh, and bumps the Alpha Towery's down a notch. No, uh, no funny business from no starting at the back and not qualifying. They're just no, taking gonna go series. out there and set some laps. Yeah, <laughs> love to see it. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it just cause a bit of carnage having quick drivers behind slower drivers. Yeah. Uh, Millsy currently three tenths up, looking for. A bit of a slipstream. Maybe. He's very low on fuel and ERS. What was that? Was that a... Squeeze in every penny. That was a spin from Pentagonial just in front. Uh, so hopefully that didn't uh, put Millsy off at all. It didn't seem to. Crossed the line and improved up into 6th place with a 29.4. Right at the front there, between about B3 and B6, mm. those, those four spots, I think, you know, tenth and a half in it. Of course, everyone's played different amounts of the game. Some people still just purchasing it, others yeah. have practiced for a month. Not sure how sure how much the uh, month practice <laughs> actually does because you know they keep changing the handling all the time so yeah don't know who's actually better off well uh so coming across the line now we have yoshi just starting their lap so we'll we will watch the full proceedings in the hats with the white helmet matching the car is very nice. Do love a helmet matching a car. You got Encourage it. everyone to do this. So we see Yoshi keeping it quite tight through there. Not running too wide up. on the exit. Yeah, going quite well. This key corner here. Yeah, this is probably the trickiest one. Seems to not have a problem at all. Getting a nice slipstream from the teammate. You can watch that on board. Pulls out of the way just in time. A very good cooperation there from Valhalla. Purple middle sector. That that toe could have been. It was a it was a nice looking sector, wasn't it? Yeah. Hit every apex there. Coming down to this final corner, vital to get a good exit here. Keeps it nice and tidy on the DRS. Fuel light blinking and up into seventh. So will we see Yoshi return the favor with a nice toe? As we see Wild go into 8th there, I think, straight after. Mm -hmm. the two Alpha Tauris coming out on track together, and one of them disappearing, looks of it. Are we going to see a tow here? If we are, that is a little late. Oh, okay. Goes for it. So the Haas, the Haas teammates, they're 
<laughs> for every advantage right now. Yep. I love Squeezed it. Squeezed every penny. So we're going to follow on with Valhalla's full lap. We'll see the full story of the Haas boys. Uh, not sure how much time we've got left in this session, just because there's yellow flags everywhere. One minute. So, yeah, we've got... It's, it's the pointy this end, is it. for sure. All or nothing now. Should be seeing everyone out doing their final laps. we got CSAS still in the pit. So we'll not be coming out and setting another time. Sec is out, though. Got a purple sector there from Valhalla in the middle. The Good two houses. Big uh, track improvement mm. by this time in the uh, session, so. Yeah, for sure. So Valhalla manages seventh, so we've got the two houses side by side. As I say that, Aussie dude just nips in front. We've got Pentagonial, I think, crossing the line. Nope, that was the other Alfa Romeo. So Pentagonial coming around that final corner now. Uh, Noxie in front. Oh, and a spin from Pentagonial goes all the way around. Sec manages a fourth place. Uh, oh no, is on their final lap now, so... There's some people just starting theirs. Yeah. So, Sec I need is... to be right back again quickly, but... Yep, no worries. I'll see you the right... <laughs> yeah, Sec is uh, currently in the best... Or has the best track, so... We're going to follow this lap all the way through. Uh, which, theoretically, should have the best chance at going on to pole. Uh, we're going to see a McLaren pull into the pits. So, something's happened there. That is Caddo. has not been able to improve. KC also coming around the final corner. We're going to cut away real quick just to see their time. And we see 13th there. Sec with a little bit of a toe through that main straight in the middle. Oh, and a spin. No, no good. So Admiral Aladdin goes up one place into fourth. Uh, we also have Avanti about to cross the line. Coming around that final corner. Seems to be on a good time. A 29.6 is good enough for 10th. Uh, and who do we have now? That's Milzy coming across the... Oh no, with an invalid time. We have reports of Vlad's uh, game bugging out a little bit, so... We may get a little restart happening with the lobby. Noxy crossing the line there, although I believe they were already finished. And same with Sex. So there we go. That is the order at the moment. CSAV's on pole. Vlad uh, with some game difficulties in second. Uh, Caddo in third, Aladdin in fourth, Sec only managing fifth. Got to expect some climbing up the order during the race. Uh, Milzy, Aussie Dude, Noxy, Valhalla, Avanti round out the rest of the top ten. And then we've got a bit of a mix. Yoshi, Wild, KC, Julius Cheezer. Who have we got right down the bottom? Uh, Pentagonial with that spin on the final lap so probably would have been higher up uh, but obviously didn't manage to set a time Champagne Jake Caribo who had a bit of a crash and then Snickers and Viking not setting a time as usual so there you have it We've got an exciting race on our hands. We may have a bit of a new lobby happening. But we will...
wait and see. So this is a good time to thank our sponsors, as always. Sully Shirt, Sim Racing SA, and Shudder Media. Uh, we appreciate their work, as always. Alright, we're straight in. Uh, I don't know if there is a new lobby going on. I have not been paying attention. Um, yes, there is a new lobby. So we will go ahead and leave this one. So, prediction time in the chat. What do we got? Who do we think is going to be taking the victory? Uh, how many safety cars is also a fun one. What do we think? Chuck some chuck some predictions at me, folks. I got... Um, let's see. I think Millsy's going to do well this time. I'm predicting a bit of a jump on the start from them. Hello. Hey, got a new lobby going. Alright. Yeah. What happened? Uh, just people struggling with their game. Uh, mostly Vlad, who's verifying <laughs> integrity of game files as we speak. Okay. But we got prediction what, time, dude. What do you think? True. What the end of qualifying look like? I didn't see it, so... Yeah, so uh, CSAV's on pole. Uh, we had... Um, yeah, good question. <laughs> Vlad, <laughs> Vlad in second, Cat in third. Um, yep. And then... Sec. Yeah, Sec in fourth or fifth, I think. Yep. Oh. Somebody's blowing their nose on the lobby chat, so I'm going to have to mute everyone. Apologies for that. I don't know who that was. If I did, I would shame them. But... <laughs> oh. <laughs> shame here. Uh, Aladine, we got a message from. I can't read it, though, because of the thing. So let me... I'm fourth. Aladine's fourth. That's right. So um, second oh. and fifth. Aladdin so with a prediction. huge qualifying. Uh, have you made a prediction yourself? Um, I, I like DJ Millsy's chance. I think he's gonna get a right, good okay. start. Um, I mean, surely Sack is gonna make his way through the order. Aladdin, you're gonna do a good job defending. Tell us all about it. Who does Aladdin think is going to win? <laughs> Vote for Quick Gun. It's not here. <laughs> Get him involved, though, right? Get everybody involved. Mm. When are you going to get involved, Dave? Yeah, trying to throw everyone else in. Huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? I better join the lobby, eh? Yeah, would help. For sure. Um. We've had some people in the wrong car, too. So, we're getting that changed up. Predictions, predictions. I'm gonna go with. Tell me what you think of this. Okay. Cato. Ooh, yeah. I think I think good about it. Cato for what though? 
<laughs> to, to win. Cato for something. For something. Cato for... President. The win. Oh. For president. Cato for the win, yep. It's spicy. Alright, Vlad is back. Hopefully, the game is fixed. I wouldn't hold my breath, but, you know. Millsy needs to jump in the car. If, uh, yeah, it would be a shame if Vlad couldn't make it. It was such a good time. Mm. One of those front runners. We wait an extra five minutes if you're a front runner. Be starting off the front row. <laughs> Get more leeway, dear. Yeah, for sure. I've never experienced that. Yeah, you wouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Roasted you. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel roasted, for sure. Mm -hmm. Alright. What, what are we doing here? We got most people readied up. Not everyone. Wait, so you reckon uh, DJ Mills is going to win? Yeah, why not? Make it uh, two from two in in Bahrain. Oh yeah, back to backs. In the be... league. Maybe you'll be in Does second have... all the way up to the last lap, and then the person in first will spin. Wouldn't that be <laughs> poetic? Would be. I'd start to think it it was uh, DJ Millsy putting hexes on people or something. <laughs> At that point. Yeah. DDoSing them. Is something. that... Are you allowed to do that? Is that uh, the rules? Sure. I mean... They're never going to prove that you did it. I didn't do it. <sighs> yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, they've proved it. Alright, we've readied up. Viking is not yet ready though, so there could be descent among the ranks. Hold the horses. Yeah, somebody's listening. Good job. Good. Oh, somebody stopped listening. Don't do it, Aladdin. <laughs> Big old cast grid to set up. Which, uh, even more. More loaded question. Which constructor is going to come away the most points today? You reckon? Uh, well, I mean, wait. Do some people <laughs> need to swap seats? Probably. Also, we've got um, subs in. So, like, do they yeah. get those points? You'd think well, Alpha Towery just... with Vlad and. That's true. What about McLaren if Sick. it's got C Sabs and Cato? Yeah, huh? that's pretty good. Huh? That's not bad, not bad. Alright. We are surely going to be getting away any second now. Just waiting for the order to be popped in. Viking working away there. I need to pick a car. Yeah. I'm looking at you, Millsy. Somebody get into him. Get into him in the chat. Oh. oh someone else could be in their car, though, you know, so. Come on, sort it out, boys. <laughs> 
sort it out. We want to go racing. We've we've been waiting uh, months for this game to come out and finally get back to streaming. Now we got to wait an extra couple of minutes, and it's just too much. It really is. So anyway, Piastri. Oh, Oscar the pastry. <laughs> Trader or innovator? Baller. Put your thoughts in the comments. Baller. Baller. Yeah, we know you're. No, I don't know. Bit of a bit of a shit show, but yeah, baller. Yeah, it's. Well, let's see exciting. how it works out. Yeah. I don't know. Doesn't end up in a seat. That'd be uh. <laughs> embarrassing, right? Yeah, that'd be awkward. It's apparently going to court. I've heard. FIA have approved both contracts. I mean, it's a bit awkward. I mean, it's not that their is, job. Is that it? is a bit awkward. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> somebody sends you them a contract and they're like, yeah. <laughs> "That's all in order." It's gonna be awkward if he ends up racing for Alpine in the end, for sure. Yeah. Oh, we're done. Um, we're loading in. Alright. But no, go Oscar. Yeah, it should be a good year. I just want to know where he's at so I can buy the merch already. <laughs> we know where you could get some merch. Actually, I don't Where's know that? If, if you're actually allowed to do that or not, but you can get a custom shirt from Sully's Hell shirts. yeah, where from? Oh my god. <laughs> the possibilities, dude. I forgot all about Sully's shirts, but we're back. Hmm. I've been thinking about it every day <laughs> since we last streamed. All right, we're loading in. It's time to get back to the serious. It's called motor racing. What's all this contract and legal talk? Head to head, Oscar versus Daniel. It takes all the miles. Yeah, head to head. <laughs> what though? Like, are we talking head to head table tennis? <laughs> table tennis. Game of chess. Ooh, that'd be fun to watch. <clears throat> or like racing. Because I mean, isn't racing just three forty? What HS? Pretty much. Pr yeah, sure. Could have been a sprint. Like an actual sprint, like they're gonna run. Like a running race? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, around, a lap around the Melbourne circuit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a sprint, is it? Surely not. And the All right, enough of this crazy talk. We're loading in. We got players in the lobby. Twenty-five seconds till the formation lap. Ooh! <laughs> Make sure Gunther's involved. Yeah, he can be the uh, the person that like he, drops the flag. He should be stuff. the commentator. Yeah. Do you want him? You want him on the vocals. Mm. All right. Formation lap is a go. We got and they're off. The McLarens leading the charge. The Alpha Tauris, the Ferraris. Oh, it's looking good. We got tire warming happening already. Except Every for, car from has... sea stuffs left the grid. That is crazy. I've not seen that before. It's rarely been done. We've, uh... Oh, we've, we've got, got a spin. Drivers have... Oh! Who was that? Tell me. Was that an Alfa... Alfa Romeo, or...? I don't know what's going on right now. Alright, predictions. Hit stop strategy, you got medium hard or you got whatever that other one was, soft, 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 <laughs> yeah. soft, medium. We're not going to be doing that. <laughs> uh, 
uh, while we're doing this, let's put the telemetry on. Look at the tires. So we got medium from CSAVs, Vlad on the hard. Ooh, I like it. We've got some people that have been disqualified uh, that are back at the grid. So cool yep. tires for them. The only soft runner is KC. Uh, Doesn't need the tire champ. Just saving them, saving <laughs> yeah, those tires. Exactly. That's actually probably a good strategy. <laughs> Get an extra lap out of it. <laughs> I did formation lap practice on Saudi Arabia on my softs. Eleven percent by the end of the formation lap. They were cooked. Yeah, there we have our predicted strategy: soft, medium, hard. Yeah, that's the Ferrari strat going through the entire range of the Wait, tires. Wait, it says soft, medium, hard, does it? Yeah. That is interesting. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you uh, better go medium hard, aren't you? Yeah, probably. Oh, a bit of a slide there from CSAVs. We're going to follow on board. Uh, oh, look at that burnout. Yeah. Ooh. This is the new tech. The new. Got control skills. over that car. Don't beat it. Oh, weaving he's just through. weaving. Ducking and diving. That is going to get reset, my missed friend. It. <laughs> and and missed has missed it. the grid. Let's see what Vlad does. Oh, Vlad creeps up. Nice, nice job from Vlad. And Kat's got a good one. She's uh, disqualified. So the Who front of our got? grid is looking very compact. The first three cars all bunched up. Viking doesn't get it. All right, we right, can watch the we start go. from Cat's perspective. Cat O, rather. And the lights go out. A good jump from the Alpha Tower there. Is Vlad going to get it up the inside? I reckon he might. There's a traffic light in the way. I apologize. Oh, they send it very wide from CSAVs. CSAVs, yeah, well out on the, on the, uh, off the track there almost. Uh, not seeing an awful lot of action. We see the McLaren coming down, still in first. A uh, huge spread of Oof. debris there we from see somebody. Deck go past two of them, straight past Cato and Aladdin, who's fighting back around the outside. Doesn't, Doesn't quite, get it done. quite keep it. Aladdin might lose another spot here to the McLaren. Uh, as we see Cato up the inside. Doesn't manage to get it to stick, though. And Aladdin has the drive. Jeez, this Where is action packed. Still so battling for position here. A little bit wide there from Wild. Gets caught beach on that curb on the outside of turn 10 there. Yeah, it's a shocker, isn't it? Managed to send it up the inside there. Uh, gets in front of. Side by Nelson. side, the two Ooh. Astons there. Yep. A little bit further back, uh, Yoshi and Jay Caribo battling it out. So we see a huge gap forming now. CSAV's 1.2 seconds out in front. Um, these two Alpha Tauris close to each other. CSAV's with that fastest lap leading, of course. The Alpha Tauris are battling. Sec down the inside and does have the position. We could start from Tech, up three spots from P5. DJ Millsy up the inside of Avanti. Avanti battles back. The two Astons getting in each other's way a little bit. DJ Millsy loses two positions out there to KC and Aussie Dude, who is also battling. Ooh, KC with those soft tires cutting through the field. Ooh, doesn't does quite have that extra grip. I'm going to ride on board with KC there. for a little bit. And have a look at this battle. Goes around the outside there nicely. DJ Millsy doing a good job on the hards, trying to battle away. So it's going to be a struggle at the start there for DJ, but yeah. we'll hopefully reap the rewards later in the race, being able to extend this stint. Because uh, those hard tyres, if you come out of the pits on those, yeah, they are very cold, and you you got to be very careful. 
So CSAV's breaking away now. 1.7 seconds has the gap to sec. Probably wants to maintain that all through the DRS zone. Um, or when DRS is enabled, rather. Sec does do a quicker lap there, so interesting if uh, he can close this down. Yeah, Vlad has, has skipped away from Vlad a little bit. Yeah, has managed to stay in the DRS zone, though, so. If you're on the hards, this is what you want. Just stay behind somebody on a better tyre for the crossover point. I'm going to check back in with KC, who's on these soft tyres, which will start to fall off uh, pretty much immediately. Yeah, these things do not last long, do they? They are no. just a... Four, five, six lap tire. We see a good battle here between Aussie, Dude, and Avanti, though. Yoshi working his way up the field, too, just nipping in front of Julius Cheezer. Yoshi, another one to start on those hards. Both those passes going for the same strategy there, starting on the hards. Yeah. It's a good one if you can get away with it. Maybe look at the, use more teamwork together. We did see a lot of teamwork from him in uh, Quali. Yeah, <laughs> could be a planned strat. These have just uh, flexing muscles out in front there, stretches it. Stretches that gap out by another like eight tenths that lap or so. We see Aladdin and Caddo fighting it out through to this first DRS zone. Aladdin has the DRS, so he isn't going to be able to make a move though. So DRS and slipstream not as effective in this game. It's all about ERS, all about the. Of course button you press didn't realize go, go faster. Oh, Ooh, what is yeah, this? Didn't realize. Ooh. Aladdin's Aladdin on with a spin, yep. Was that a... Was that wasn't on that outside curb there, was it? Yeah, I think it might have been. He's going to be struggling through here too with the hot tires. I think we saw another issue there from Julius Cheezer with a spin. So what I didn't pick up on was actually Vlad in P3 has started on the hard, so yeah. he's doing a good job to keep in distance with Sec there. So it's actually a pretty good spot for that that Alpha Tauri. And staying striking distance, getting those mediums later. Maybe close down that distance to the front. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I guess mediums will probably start falling off after lap 11, 12-ish. Um, so we might start to see... Die, right? Yeah. Fall off a little bit before that. So just in front of Aladdin, we've got three cars all bunched right up. KC on those soft tyres again still managing to make it work even though they are going to start to fall off very soon Ooh. when you got to get all your work done if you start on that soft tire yeah viking moving up a place oh aladdin gets a great drive oh just clips that curb but he's probably going to be able to keep this yeah does manage Lots it. of space given. Yeah, that could be a sign that these tyres are just beginning to show their age. Surprise. See how long it takes for these hard runners to come into the race here. A little bit further back we have Viking moving up the field. Started in 19th, I believe. It's now in 13th behind these Hasses. Hassai? Is that the Sai? Hi? Hi? Hi. Hi 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 pods. 
Ah, we have our first pit. So that is Aussie dude on the mediums coming in. An interesting one. I wonder if there was damage there. Viking does get ahead of Yoshi, so he's now in a Haas sandwich. There is a wood chain for Aussie dude, so... And he's gone under some softs, so... Oh, okay. Looking to do some quick, a quick couple of laps and then return to the Come pit. back in, yeah. <laughs> That'll be fun. <laughs> Something to look forward to. You gotta break these long races down, you know? Yeah. You see some yellow flags. Is that the cat? Is having a problem? Noxie is right. As I mess the cameras up quite badly. I'm going to see DJ Milsey managing to stay right on the back. Oh, and Aladdin goes around again. Struggling. Yeah, so. Everyone moves up a spot. Millsy all over the back of KC here. Gets a better exit. These soft tires, and he will be pitting. So there you go. Five laps the softs will so, do. Did do a good job, though. To Had made up about six positions there. So mm -hmm. gonna pit. he's going to put the medium on. So you imagine this is going to be a two-stopper. You wouldn't imagine... Everything laps on the medium, that's a bit too much, I think. Yeah. Noxie kind of faking a move up the inside of Cat. Getting him to leave some space and then taking full advantage of that. He's all over the back. Just applying pressure. Noxie started P8, up three spots on the charge. A little bit wider there than Kato to get a better run. Kind of uh, energy these guys are playing with. About the same. We just saw yellow flags in sector two from Avanti. Having a spin, then picking up a penalty. Oh, Noxie just picks up a little bit of that inside curve and almost goes. Ah, and Avanti has officially crashed out, and that is. I think a safety car. What do we got? in the pit. We got yellow full flags yellow everywhere. flags got everywhere. People pitting. No right. safety car just yet. No safety car. So people looking to maybe. Is this a virtual? I mean, we can't see if it's a virtual. No. I mean, Vlad it could be a is virtual, not though. going too fast. Nah, Vlad is backing off on the straight, so... I don't actually see a safety car itself on the uh, track, so... We do see uh, the little black boxes on the side of the track, though, flashing safety car. They are, in fact, doing that. That is what I went to check, but... I don't see one, though. There's not one coming out of the pit, you know? No, Which do they flash like, like that for VSC happened. though? Maybe, maybe it is just VSC. Yeah, I can't really see them too clearly. Uh, but while this happens, let's see if we can take a little look at that replay. Oh, oh speeding up to VSC. Everyone gets the drive throughs Okay, well, we're not going to look at that replay. We're, <laughs> we're going to hold that for now. Um, been there on this very track rough. Uh, so, where's so our made the most of that then? C-Sav, Sec, Noxie, all pitting. Yeah, so Vlad in a rough spot there on the hard tyres. Doesn't make a lot of sense to be pitting. You see Aussie Dude getting a great run on Champagne uh, on those two lap old softs. Oh, did we have... That was Cat there with a little spin out of the second, no, the last corner. Um, so he's lost a little bit of room. 
that's uh, brought DJ Millsy up onto the back there. This is about where we'd see those guys, the mediums and the hards, probably cross over. We're going to see a bit of a DRS train forming here between uh, Admiral Aladdin, KC, who's moving up now on the fresh mediums, and Aussie Dude, Champagne, just behind too. He's going to be looking to capitalize on this. Bit of contact there between Aladdin and Champagne. Uh, Aladdin and Ooh, KC. Rather. And we got someone off back there. I think it is Champagne, Champagne that's gone off yeah. back there. So we're going to see. Aladdin struggling to keep a hold of this 12th place is already... Oh, yeah. He's going to go down the inside. Keeps a hold of it. Aussie Dude going to get a much wider run. Aladdin will have the DRS as well. Aussie dude Very burning hard energy, yeah, it's... Trying that's... to fight off those softs, so much more grip. Aussie dude all over the back of Aladdin here in the slipstream. He's gonna look the to do it before the last turn, can't quite get it done there. This is where things get a bit wild. We have uh, somebody coming out of the pits up ahead. That could make things a little interesting for these guys. Oh, Although it might be a back marker. Because there's going to be someone on. Yeah, I believe that's a back marker. I think it is too. They have kindly got out of the way and stopped and disappeared. Yeah, maybe. Anyway. <laughs> hey, it happens. It really does. So, a great little battle here. Aussie dude trying in the same place. Trying to go around oh. the outside. Aladdin cannot make it big. has the line, so uses all of the track. Aussie dude maybe looking up the inside. Tr tricky place to be going for a move. Maybe just getting a little desperate. Seems like Aladdin did not get DRS there, so... This is a great little battle. Yeah, Aladdin just hovering on the edge of that one second to uh, KC. Just ahead. Using all of the track on the entrance to that corner. Does manage to cut a little bit of time will get the DRS. This is not ideal for Aussie Dude on these soft tyres and struggling to get past the hards in front is absolutely not what you want to see. Five laps now on these soft tyres. Yeah. Is, uh, where it gets hard. <laughs> yeah. It's understeers into that corner. <laughs> Red light of KC flashing ahead, indicating that they are below 10% on ERS. We have Julius Cheeser just up ahead. Oh, sideways in the middle of the road. Um, as fantastic as this battle is, and as sad as I'm going to be to miss this overtake if it does happen. We're going to head over to CSAVS, who's closing in on Valhalla. And he's making a charge back up the order. So I think this is our effective leader of the race. Yeah. The leader of those who have pitted, should I say. Uh, as for where... These guys will come out uh, as compared to Vlad. We'll have to wait and see. Well, we see an overtake there by CSAVS, absolutely creating a gap on Valhalla before the first corner. That was Makes it look easy. When, when you get it done before the corner, it's uh, much easier, isn't it? Yeah. Almost going straight into the DRS of 
the Viking ahead, who's on much older medium tyres, so... CSAVs might find a nice little leapfrog all the way up into fourth here. So you want to do, you want to try and set it up at the right time, catch the car, maybe grab some DRS and just slingshot past them. Uh, these have doing a good job of preserving energy as well, just using it when uh, when he does need a slingshot past the car. So definitely much more needed in this game, the ERS management. It's so powerful, with the DRS being a little bit less powerful than we've seen in the last game. It really comes down to a bit of an ERS battle between cars. Who can conserve it more? driving through the making less mistakes. Yeah, and we are going to see, again, down the main straight in the DRS zone, but not using the ERS, so very disciplined approach, and the f red light flashing from Viking ahead, indicating that he is quite low, so CSAVs doesn't need to use too much to get past here. Ooh. CSAF's taking a wide line through there, trying to get the best run, stay right on the tail of the Viking through here. Could be looking to get an overtake with a nice run out of here. Does have an amazing run. It's a tricky place to overtake, though. Yeah, just not long enough down there from starting at low speed like that to be able to build up enough pace to actually pass the car. So, But it's just you all to... over Viking right now. This is nerve-wracking to watch. Yeah, Viking also very low on energy, so Six Hands will look to pick up the DRS again, I'd imagine, and just cruise past here. We do see Cat pitting 12 laps on the mediums, which is the same as Viking has, so Cato coming in for the hards. Six Hands getting the job done there against the Viking. Yeah, and only has just over a second to make up to the next car to pick up DRS again, so really choosing a great time to pit and collecting a lot of free time that's left on the board. A little bit further uh, back, what do we have? What do, we, what do you want to see? Uh, I had a look at that trio, so we see okay, that Aussie dude has now come off those softs into the pits. Aladdin had managed to get past Casey, who was sitting in between that Aussie dude and Aladdin. Um, so, Aussie dude trying the uh, medium stop hard strategy, one of each. <laughs> nice. The, uh, the starters pack. It's a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of respect for that. That's not a bad approach. Getting knowledge on each of the tyres, getting used to them in race scenarios. Just experimenting um, I've been watching Pato on the outlap god going onto hards is just so tricky isn't it especially turn one here at Bahrain the heavy braking turn you just go straight ahead down yeah well if you lock your tyres it's just done for you yeah you need to brake so much earlier so Viking has come in and gone on to soft, so it could be a two-stopper, medium, soft, soft. Could uh, be the medium, soft, soft. I think, is that what Viking did in the Mansell race as well? Yeah, maybe. So if we have a look at Viking coming out of the pits here, we can see a little bit what it's like. Uh, this is a best-case scenario on the softs, of course. Yeah, soft tyres make it... They, they do warm up a bit quicker. 
and they do provide that bit more grip when they're cold. Yeah, we see a bit of weaving Still as well though. on that straight, but we see the Underseer coming in. It's uh, still there. It's yeah. still there. But around now, it. in the lap is where the softs are going to start coming on. A couple more corners for yes. mediums and hards, and you're good to go. I think you need about a full lap on the hards. Yeah. Half, half a lap on the softs. So CSAVS has closed that gap down uh, and is now in the DRS zone of Millsy in front. So when is Millsy going to pit? When is Vlad going to pit? Are they going to go for an extended run, wait for a safety car, go onto soft tyres? I mean, a safety car would be huge for Vlad right now. Yeah. Of course, CSAVS did get to pit under the VSC, that's why they took that early pit stop. Yeah. He's going to have to go a lot longer laps, so... Could be an interesting finish. I don't know how long the pit stop time is here, but... We see Vlad is 20 seconds down the road from DJ Millsy here. CSAV's following again very close, getting out wide to open this corner up. Having to back off a little bit there. It's <laughs> so close. Yeah, of course, CSAV's very good at following slower cars because most cars are slower than CSAV, so. Mm, yeah, a lot of Very experience. experienced at this skill. <laughs> Jeez, does manage to get it done on that straight, which is quite a tricky feat. Could be good for DJ, though. Could look to stay in range, pick up the main straight, which is going to help a lot. Of course, yeah, these two cars on very different strategies. DJ hasn't hit a jet, so it's a smart thing to realize that CSAVs isn't isn't your race, and you're better off not losing uh, overall time battling and just pick up the DRS, follow along. Yeah. And then maybe when you, when you lose the DRS, that's when you start to come in, bang on some new tires, but... Definitely, if I see a car passing me when I'm staying out long and I try to pick up some DRS, stay out, maybe another lap. We'll pick up a double serve of DRS there too. Well, that's exactly what you want. How many laps do you think... Uh... I reckon they get, they get 20 laps out of these hards and then can go on to some stocks. Nine laps, you think? You could stretch too much. Well, no with the lower fuel, I think maybe it's possible to do nine laps, yeah. I mean, we're going to find what out. I've noticed, what I've noticed in these cars is losing that fuel really does give you chunks of lap time and really helps with the handling. Oh, we see there. Casey coming out of the pits. Cold tires under steering and sort of locking up into that first turn has just gone into the side of Champagne and I think has lost a front left end plate to the wing. Um, and Vlad does pop into the pits, so we see it's got to be mediums. Yeah, it is. So it is on to the mediums. That'll be good. That'll be good. Flying laps for the rest of the race now. Those mediums should last pretty nicely. Nine laps to go. CSAV's coming down the main straight now. So we do so see gonna CSAV's, CSAV's fly by. He's going to get past, but CSAV's I'm sure would have been hoping for Mills a little bit more of a gap. Yeah. We'll, we'll pick up a bit more of a gap on this outlap from Vlad, but we'll see how much of a an inroads these mediums can make. We see the weave in Hopefully to try and spicy get finish. a little bit of time. Uh, temps into the tires, Viking setting fastest lap. So it's about four seconds now this gap. Vlad has played this strategy very nicely. Struggling around here though, still losing time, so about another seven tenths. Yeah, so that's what, what the cold tires do to you. CSAVS picks up an extra two seconds in this lap. So the medium should be getting up to temp now. It looks looks like they've settled down a bit. Still losing.
goes and tenth and a half through these final corners. They should be right on temperature now though, so you can really start throwing it in. Of course you don't want to throw away your race on an out lap. Got another eleven laps to go, so it doesn't need to freak out and spin like some of us do. Huh. It does happen. <laughs> we see a car off in uh, sector two there as a purple third sector purple comes final in. final sector that. there and takes off about four tenths in that final sector, so... Hopefully a spicy finish on our hands. Check back in with this battle for first a little later as we flick back to see the Viking closing on Milzy. Soft tires. Well, Milzy made a pit stop as well. Did come in for new tires after receiving that dose of DRS. But those fresh mediums oh, still not as good as these softs. See the rear wing open, so Viking, even though he's in front, gets the second serve of DRS too. Plays that very well. Uh, if we head all the way back down the order now, we can have a little look at Snickers, who's closing in on Aussie Dude. His very old hard tyres back here. He seeks out to pick up a penalty. That's going to make uh, their race Huge a lot harder. Difference. Yeah. Of course, CSAB driving as a reserve does tend to uh, bin it into the wall on the last lap. Yeah. As to not affect the points of the uh, league, so I can respect that. Vlad flying around now takes the fastest lap. That was set by Viking on soft, so Vlad flying on those mediums out there. Yeah, I think sometimes it definitely does feel that the mediums are quicker. I mean, obviously, over the course of their life, they're going to be better. Um, but sometimes, even on one lap pace, just the softs get too hot. And tracks like Brazil, hey. it's going to be really oh, tough yeah. to keep their temperature under control. Sure. Even with all the air taken out. Yeah, this is something else that's quite different, is before, in the previous game, you would run your tyres basically at maximum every single race. Uh, there were a yep. couple tracks where you would take a little, a couple clicks of pressure out of them. Now we're running them empty, <laughs> as close to empty as you can get them, um, every track, and with a couple of exceptions, putting maybe a, a click in. So, uh, pretty big change there. Yeah, climate change, baby. Yeah. You know, this is uh, this is the effects. So you know, in the future, we won't even be using air in our tires. Yeah. Too hot. Be using what? Carbon dioxide? Oh, oh the cars will just hover by then, will they? <laughs> yeah. No grip necessary, baby. Uh, Nocti up the front. Uh, done a good job of closing off the back. Kasek here is trying to get onto the podium. So yeah. pretty good drive from P8 there. Both on the same tyres too, so fairly even battle going forward. Just on merit. Yeah. You see this gap up the front closed down to about two seconds now, so... Vlad's taking huge gaps, huge chunks of time out. Won't even need to worry about the penalty, might just win the race anyway on track. That would be pretty well played by Vlad. Viking's still doing some good laps on these six lap old softs as well, as close as the back Valadine here. Yeah, he's definitely going to have to hit though, probably is going to end up coming out between KC and Snickers. KC is somebody else who will probably need to pit. He'll come in this lap or the next. 
put these two stints up into seven laps and seven laps on the tyres. So a very nice exit here from Noxy is really closing up, getting the slipstream Sec gonna cover off the inside. Sec with the late braking. Noxie Noxie goes gonna for look the for a better exit. He's all over the back good. here. Ooh. Sec got a lot more energy to fight with, but isn't gonna use it. I'm gonna try and fight it around the outside. This is gonna be risky. Yeah. I think was trying to look for a cutback, but it's just a Noxie just controlled the pace across the apex of the corner there that kind of didn't allow it. Of course, he's having the red light flashing, so Sec is well aware of the energy advantage. Yep, I might try and use it again down the main straight to get past. Is it going to be too stressed? I mean, this is the main race for these guys, unless... If they start dicing too much, they might bring Pato into play, who's three seconds back, but has six left younger tires. So, mm. Tech might be wise to that. Might just, might just play this smart. You only need to be Ooh. in front of Nocti here on the last lap. We do have a crash between Snickers and Aussie Dude. And that's going to bring out the safety the car. That so is going to bring out the safety car. So, the leaders. Already, already driven past the pit box. Yeah, 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 rough. Okay, We're so... We're going to see and Sec go in. That is very good for Noxy and Sec. Thing is, the leaders will still be able to pit as well because they haven't picked up the safety car. Yeah. So, everyone's going to be driving under a Delta until that safety car gets picked up by the leaders, so the leaders will pass the pits again. And we're basically going to see mass soft tyre strategies coming out. Six laps to go is essentially the perfect stint for a soft tyre. So it works everyone... pretty nicely for the Viking. It's a free pit stop with everyone <laughs> yeah. around doing the same pit stop. So Yeah. Uh, somebody that this may benefit a lot is Pentagonial, who is down in 14th on 18 lap old hearts. Oh, the huge stint. So... This is gonna be. It's gonna. Would have probably been holding up. out for this. Yeah. Maybe had an issue earlier in the race and was just holding out for it. And the waiting pays off. Much like uh, George Russell in Miami. Big brain, it you reckon? You got to. Huge brain. <laughs> Huge brain, please. All right, we see CSAVs entering the pit now course looking to not get a penalty very well done Vlad also gonna pit wisely you would imagine and it's soft tires as far as the eye can see everyone except Aussie dude who will have a chance to pit uh, again if he changes his mind which you know, could be could be worth doing. Be worth it. We'll only lose a position, and we'll have one lap fresher tires all the way to the end. So, yep, fresher than everyone else. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Champagne gets disqualified. Was told to <laughs> flew past the leaders in the safety yeah. car. Which, no, that's not how it works, unfortunately. If you're a lap down, that's just, you know, that's just it. Safety car comes out. You need to get ahead of the leaders to while they pit before Michael you Massey. can pit. <laughs> Let you know. Yeah, that's rough. Um, yeah. Not, not really much else to add to that other than that's... Pretty, pretty rough. But, you know, gotta listen to the warnings. Are we gonna see Aussie Dude Pit? Yes, we are. So he's gonna lose 
uh, one spot to a Pentagonial, who will move up into 13th. That'll be about it, if you imagine. Mm. So, five or maybe four laps to conclude this Grand Prix. Full soft. Yo, I think the stream is buggered. Oh no. No way. Is it really? Uh. Hold on, give me one second. Please tell me that this has been working the whole time. That would be super unfortunate. Oh. Uh, 